Good morning from Annapolis. I'm down here on the beach in my happy place amongst the driftwood and sand and seagulls and waves and it's such a glorious freezing cold day but it's so spectacular and I want to talk to you about Psalm 20. Psalm 20 is an unusual psalm because it's an intercessory psalm meaning it's somebody praying it for someone else and so today I want to pray this psalm for you it is a psalm of victory and it is fantastic and you can pray it for others as well but today just receive this psalm as I pray it over you okay so here it says the Lord answer you in time of distress the name of the God of Jacob defend you. And this word Lord here is the tetragrammaton, the unspeakable name, the powerful name of God, Jehovah, meaning the great and powerful God. So may he answer you in the time of distress. In the God of Jacob, he's remembering the past. So just think of a time when God's been good to you and he'll do it again, all right? Then he goes on to say, may he send you help from the sanctuary from Zion be your support, meaning where God dwells, from where God is, may he come and rescue you and be your support. May he remember your every offering, graciously accept your burnt offering. Now he uses two different names of offering here. The first offering is the offering of the mincha, which is the gratitude offering. It just is a, an offering that you offer just because. So every time you're grateful to God, may he remember all your times of being grateful. Then the second word that he uses of offering is the offering of the Ola, which is the bloody sacrifice. So every time that you've done something that's really cost you something that has been painful, may the Lord remember all of your offerings to him, both ones of gratitude and ones that were very painful to you. May he, may he remember that as he comes to your aid and your support. Then it says, grant what is in your heart fulfill your every plan. So what is in your heart today? If it's pure and it's holy and it's good, may the Lord grant you those good things. And that's what he's saying. And your every plan, may your plans be established, he's saying. He says, may he, may you, may, sorry, may we shout for joy at your victory. So may we all together be happy for you when God grants you this. Raise the banners in the name of our God, the Lord, grant you your every petition. So today I'm praying this for you. May you raise the banner of, of God, meaning the, the defiance of your enemy. May the enemy have no victory over you because you march under the banner, under the name of the victorious God. And then the end says, Lord, grant victory. So Lord, I just pray this prayer of intercession for everyone here that you would grant them the desire of their heart that it, it could be pleasing to you, that the desires of their heart could line up with your desires, and Lord, that you would answer them and give them victory today. Lord, we shout for victory. Yay, God, because we know that you can do it and that you will do it, that you will lead us into times of refreshment because that is the kind of God you are. You want victory for us. You are more for us than we are for ourselves. So Lord, by our grace, give us faith and help us to shout in victory to you. God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray these things. Have a wonderful day today. I'll be praying from you from this beautiful beach here in Annapolis and be encouraged.